Hi, my name is Michelle Bonzi. I am a recent graduate of UCF and the Burnett Honors College. Um, while I was here, I was a film major with minors in political science and linguistics. Um, and in 2022, I was part of the Honors Advanced Documentary Workshop, where we made a new intro video for the Wallsville Museum of African American History and Culture, which is located in Paramore, right by the Amway Arena in downtown Orlando. Um, and the Wallsville Museum sits in a hotel that was built in the 1920s by Dr. William Wells, um, which was one of the few places that African Americans could stay when they would come and visit Central Florida because of segregation. Um, and along with the hotel, he built a casino, like a community event center next door, um, where a lot of prominent black musicians would come and play, like Count Basie and Ella Fitzgerald. And if you go to the museum today, you can see the ledger where they signed their names and how much they got paid, um, which is really cool. Um, and so unfortunately, later into the 20th century, the hotel fell into disrepair. Um, the casino had to be torn down. But in the 1990s, um, State Senator Geraldine Thompson led a coalition of people to restore the museum or restore the hotel and then turn it into the museum um, which stands there today. Um, and so because of that, the video that they had introducing visitors to the museum was also made around the 1990s. Um, and they wanted an updated representation of the community's history and the museum. Working on the documentary was very much so a collaborative project. Um, we were led by Dr. Lisa Mills and Dr. Robert Castanello, who had made a lot of documentaries with honors students through the Burnett Honors College before. Um, and since we were in a good small-sized group, we were all able to work on every part of the documentary. Um, and collectively, we took um, more than 10 hours of interviews, we gathered more than 300 photos, um, we studied at least 30 rolls of microfilm, um, and more than that, old editions of newspapers, um, and in total spent about 1,400 hours working on the film.